What's up guys, Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors, and today we're going to look at two different options from Grim Reaper. One's a fixed, one's a hybrid. Both of them are from Bowhunt 220. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so here we go. We got right here the Hades three blade fixed broadhead from Grim Reaper and the hybrid Grim Reaper. They both look lethal. But how accurate are they, and how will they do in the ballistics gel? That's what we're here today to find out. Okay, so as you can see, I still got my eye black on from this morning. I was this close to killing a buck with my bow, opening day a gun, and it was a gnarly buck. But I watched him bed down, so that's why the eye black's still on. As soon as I'm done filming, I'm heading back to the stand and try to get it done this evening. So, But back to the video you got right here. This is the Hades. This is an inch and three sixteenths cut. Now the blades, let me put down the hybrid real quick. The blade is a pretty cool design. Okay, there we go. So as you can see, you got your pro tip on there. These blades are actually 35 thou, neck down to 20 thou. They're sharpened. And I'll tell you right now, when Grim Reaper sends you broadheads, they're sharp. I've never had a problem with that. And this broadhead is no exception. So. This looks like a very compact, highly effective fixed head with a really good bone breaking tip on there. So I'm eager to see how this performs in the gel. Now as far as the hybrid, now as far as the hybrid, you have the same cut from the Hades, your inch and three sixteenths. And then on top of that, you have inch and a half mechanical blades as well. And all these blades are sharpened. And you have a more compact tip on there. Tried and true legendary tips from Grim Reaper. This is their V-notch chisel tip. This sucker's going to break you some bone. No problem. So the question remains, how will these heads fly? And how will they work in the gel? As you guys know, I'm still quarantined till the 24th. So this should be the last week of videos that I have to film solo. But... We're not going to have the side angle camera today for this broadhead test just because I need that camera charging for my hunt tonight. So I want to get some hunting footage. I was this close this morning, this close for opening day of gun with my bow, that close to getting it done on a nice buck. So today we're going to be shooting these Grim Reaper broadheads. My Tri-X is going in the woods with me because that's my baby. So the VXR gets to show off again on the channel. That means I will be shooting my old arrows, my 476 grain, 300 spine, gold tip, kinetic chaos, with my Warriors Never Give Up wraps on there. Awesome wraps. So I'm filming the intros for both broadhead test videos that I'm going to drop this week while the block itself is actually warming inside I got it ready to go. I got the target ready to go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot the Hades. I'm going to shoot the hybrid into my sever target and make sure they're flying good before I shoot at the gel so we know everything's picture perfect so the gel does not get cold so we can really see the wound channels for these broadheads. So let's get the sever target ready. Let's get it at 20 yards. Let's get uh, both these broadheads on and let's see how they fly. All right, guys, so first up, we'll shoot the Hades out of the VXR. Also, this arrow is going to be traveling 280 and a half feet per second. And once again, this is 20 yards. We're just going to see how this broadhead shoots, make sure it shoots true, and if it doesn't, so I can know how to aim at the gel so we can hit it dead no center. So here we go. Oh, she's a dart, baby. That thing shot perfect. Also, side note, the cool thing we noticed about the sever target. Now, we shoot all these broadheads in these tests, especially fixed heads. We don't shoot the mechanicals, but the fixed heads, we shoot into the sever target to see how they're flying before we shoot. It's, there's something weird about this sever. It's something about the foam. But when you pull your broadhead out, it actually pulls those burrs off your broadhead, and it does sharpen your broadhead. I don't, 
Guys, I don't know how, but it does. It's, it's weird. If you guys have a sever target, shoot some fixed heads in there. Let me know if you get the same thing. I don't know why it does it, but it does it. Okay, so the Hades shot dead true. That's what you expect out of Grim Reaper. I'm telling you. Now, here's the hybrid. Let's see if she flies true. This is the one that I have doubts on. I don't like hybrid heads. Disclosure. I do not like them. <laughs> okay, they shoot good. They shoot good. All right. I think it's time to get that gel out here. It should be warm enough, so let's go get these broadheads. Oh, it's always good when you know the broadheads are going to fly good for the test, so stay tuned. Like I said, guys, I don't know what it is about this, but that sever target just, it almost hones those blades. Same with on the tip. I mean, these broadheads are extremely sharp now. I, I don't, even the mechanical, I don't get it, but it does it. It's, it's weird. It's, let me see if I can get this zoomed in up on it. Come on. Come on, baby. All right, so there you go. So you can see how much shinier they are. Like I said, that sever, it, it, something about that target, when you pull the broadheads out, it just hones those blades. It's crazy. Okay, so they're ready to shoot. We know they're gonna shoot good. We got that down there. Let's go get the gel. It's warm, so if we can shoot these tests quick, maybe let it warm up in between, we'll see. But here we go. Let's go get the gel. Stay tuned. Okay, gotta film this quick. So first up, Hades. Once again, 20 yards. 476 grain arrow. 280 feet per second, and I got the gel crooked. Good job. Okay, once again, Hades first up, 280 and a half feet per second. Matthews VXR, huh, 78 and a half pound draw, 27 inch draw, 476 grain arrow. So, 20 yards. Let me get this on it. Okay, that's on it. Here we go. 20 yards. All right, I'm not in the way, am I? Nope. Heck yeah. Okay, it's right where I wanted it. Now, exact same setup, clearly. Now we got the hybrid. Now hopefully I can put this a little bit to the left. I wanted to shoot that one to the right and then shoot this one to the left. That was the game plan. Let's see if I can execute, Cotton. Uh, she looks good right there, Cotton. Okay. Here we go, hybrid, Grim Reaper. Let me get out of the way here. Let's see if we can get it right in the left side of that block. Okay, she just wanted to go by her brother. All right, let's go check it out. All right, so as you can see, I really wanted to put the hybrid to the left, but it didn't matter. Both of these broadheads have phenomenal entrance cuts. And you can see that the cut actually wasn't influenced at all, but that Hades did penetrate further. That broadhead, that thing's filthy. You see the nice uniform cut. Then you can see from the top here, you can see from the top, the hybrid. Oh, there we go. So you can see both of them have phenomenal wound channels. Honestly, if it was me, I'd be shooting the Hades. As I stated earlier in the video, I'm not a fan of hybrids. I just don't like them. I, it's just personal for me. I'd rather either have a mechanical or a fix. I don't like the half and half stuff. But you can see that the hybrid did open quick. Yeah, it didn't take it very long to open at all. And it stayed deployed. But the penetration was about an inch less. Maybe an inch and a half. Less than the Hades. Both these broadheads would be phenomenal. Okay. So, either of these heads are lights out in the gel. They both fly really well. If it was me, like I said, I'd go with the Hades. 
I just don't like having half mechanical, half fixed. I either want to shoot one or the other. This just this just invites too much, you know, into the flight. I'd rather instead of have these four blades, I'd rather have these three. I'm not really losing that much of a cut, and I'm gonna have better penetration. So I would shoot the Hades, but if you shoot the hybrid, hey guys, that broadhead ain't no joke either. So either Grim Reaper would definitely do you the job in a whitetail. Now you guys are probably wondering why I still got my eye black on. And that's because, like I said, I'm trying to get these tests done so I can get back after this buck. I thought I was this close this morning to getting with my bow during opening gun. He bedded down. I know where he's at. I slipped out. I left the camera arm in there. I almost left my camera in there too, but I had to charge it. So that's why there's no side angle. I have to have that charging so I can hunt with it tonight. But regardless, either Grim Reaper... In my setup, both of these perform extremely well. If it was up to me, like I said, I'd stick with the Hades. I just like, I like the fixed head. Although this thing actually really shocked me. I didn't think I'd like it, but this performed flawless as well. So, if you haven't yet, make sure to smash the thumbs up button for the Grim Reaper Brothers here. The fixed and the hybrid. They performed extremely well. They deserve a thumbs up. But... If you're new to the channel and this is your first video with us, check out our broadhead test series, our turkey pattern series, and our waterfowl pattern series. We got a lot of things going on here at BCO. We upload Monday and Wednesday during season. Hunts drop ASAP whenever I can get them up. And in the off season, we upload Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So we keep a lot of content flowing through the channel. We pump it out. So without further ado, this is Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors. And the Grim Reapers, it's hard to choose a favorite on this one. Both of them perform flawless. It's just up to you. This is Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors. And as always, guys, good luck in the woods. Stay safe. Shoot straight. Make sure you know what you're shooting at and what's behind it. We'll catch you on the next one.